welcome back to a new video. My name is Emma and I make crochet and knitting tutorials here on YouTube. So everyone, today we are going to be doing a really, really simple and easy scarf tutorial. So of course it is crochet today and we are doing um, a beginner's friendly scarf tutorial. This is the scarf in question. So it is so beautiful. I literally love it so much. I've been wearing it so often. And um, here it is. So it's nice and long. Here it is, all the different colors. And one thing that I just love about this scarf is the yarn that is used to make it. Now, I am not sponsored in any way by this yarn company or, or anything like that. I just saw it in the shop. So I went to my local yarn shop, Hickey's, and um, I went there and I saw this yarn. I said, I'm, I must have it. Obviously, I must have it. And then I was thinking about what I could do with it. And I came to the decision a scarf would be the best thing. So it's chunky. It's really easy to work up. Like I did this in one, one single day. So if you are a beginner, do not fear at all. Like do not be scared. All that we do in this is we do the very basics and we do the half double crochet that is it so if you've watched my basics tutorial you'll be well familiar with everything but if you haven't do not fear because i go over everything in this video as well so i'm gonna stop talking and then we're gonna get started with the video thank you so much for being here and please make sure if you like the video to like and subscribe and um yeah stick around for some more crochet and knitting content in the future thank you so much bye Okay, everyone, so for materials today, we are going to need four balls of Stylecraft merry-go-round yarn in the size XL and in the colorway fruit salad. So again, it's four balls or 400 grams of this yarn. We are also going to need a 10 millimeter hook and we are also going to need some scissors as well. Okay, so once you are ready to go, we are going to grab our ball of yarn and we are going to pull out a length of yarn so that we can create our slip knot, which is the very first step of the process of making the scarf. So you're gonna grab your yarn and you're gonna create an X with your middle finger and your pointer finger here, okay? So there's gonna be an upper strand and a kind of a bottom strand of this X. So with your other hand, you're gonna put your pointer finger kind of underneath that bottom strand and you're gonna hook onto the top strand of that X with your pointer finger and kind of hook it like so. You're gonna turn your hand around, remove Move your two fingers and pull up like so so you kind of create this loop here and that is your slip knot now of course i am going to show you this again and then once that loop is done of course you're going to put your hook in and then we are going to get started but let's go over the slip knot again so you're going to grab your yarn and create an x shape here so you're going to have a lower strand and an upper strand you're going to get your pointer finger and you're going to put it into this space here so underneath the lower strand you're going to hook on to the top strand like so, so kind of hook it with your finger, like so, and then you're gonna turn everything around. You're gonna remove your middle finger and your pointer finger, and then you're just gonna pull up that loop there, okay? And that is your slip knot. You're gonna pull that down a little bit, tighten that loop, and you're gonna insert your hook in here, okay? So now what we are going to do, so that top strand there is gonna be attached to your ball of yarn, and then that shorter strand there is gonna be on the bottom. So of course, we're gonna be working with the strand that is attached to the ball of yarn there. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna get your hand in position um, to start. So this is the position that we are looking for for your hand to be in to make this very easy. So you're gonna hold on to the kind of strand of yarn with your uh, ring finger and your pinky finger. You're gonna create kind of a triangle or pyramid shape with your pointer finger and you're gonna hold on to the knot on your kind of right beside your hook with your middle finger and your thumb, okay? So that's the position. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our chain. So with your hook, you're gonna face it downwards towards the ground. So face it downwards like so. You're gonna put it beside the yarn and you're gonna pull it up counterclockwise, okay? So the yarn is wrapped around your hook and you're just gonna pull it down and through the loop like so. And that is your very first chain there, okay? So we're gonna do that again, face your hook downwards, put it right beside the yarn and pull it up counterclockwise. Okay, then you're gonna pull it down and through the loop and this is your second chain there, okay? And we're gonna do that again. Face your hook downwards, put it right beside the yarn, pull it up counterclockwise and pull it right through the loop like so. Okay, so those are three chains there. So to show you again, put your hook downwards, right beside the yarn, pull it up counterclockwise, and pull it through the loop. Like so. Okay. Face your hook downwards, pull it right beside the yarn, counterclockwise, and just pull it down, and through the loop. Okay, so this is how you chain. 
Very simple, very easy. So just keep practicing. And what I would say here is to keep your tension as loose as possible. So if you are finding that it's really difficult to get the um, the kind of loop through or to pull your hook through, make sure you're going as loose as possible. So keep it very loose, very easy to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep chaining until we get to 22 chains, or if you're using a different type of yarn, different type of hook, you're gonna keep going until we get to 11.5 inches long, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like when 22 chains are over. And now what we're gonna do, we are gonna start on our half double crochets. So to start on our half double crochets, what we are going to do is we are going to first loop the yarn around our hook. So we're going to face it downwards, loop it up counterclockwise, and this is our beginning point. So now we're going to go into one, two, three, the third chain from our hook, and we're going to insert our hook in here, okay, into the third chain from our hook. So at this point, we're going to have three loops on our hook like so. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook like this, and we're just gonna pull it through that space there and pull it right up like so. Then we have three loops on our hook again. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna loop the yarn around our hook and we're gonna pull through all three loops. Okay, so pull it right through all the way to the end, brilliant. Brilliant, so that is our first half double crochet. Now for this next one, we're gonna go into the space right beside our last half, half double crochet. So this space right here. So we're gonna loop the yarn around our hook like so, and we're gonna insert it right into this next space. Now we are going to loop the yarn around our hook. So kind of pull it through the space, pull it right through, brilliant three loops on our hook. Now we are going to yarn over. So pull it up counterclockwise, loop it around, and then we're gonna pull our hook right through those three loops on our hook there. And that is our second half double crochet. So next we are going to yarn over again, wrap that around the hook, and we're gonna go right into the next space, so right here. So we're gonna insert it right in there we're going to insert our hook into this next space. Brilliant. Now we're going to wrap our yarn around the hook and we're going to pull up a loop. So pull that right through and up three loops on our hook. Now we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook again and we are going to pull to through all three loops on our hook there. Okay. Brilliant, so now you're gonna go all the way down this row and I have left uh, the rest of this in here. I've sped it up a little bit, um, but you can keep looking to if you need the visuals. So I'm gonna leave it all in here and if you are still working away, still trying to figure some stuff out, please do for, feel free to keep watching this section here. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool it blows Right, okay. So we have come to the last space on our row. So this is gonna be our very last half double crochet of the row. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and that is your final half double crochet of the row. Now to, oh, and this is what it's gonna look like, very nice, very pretty. So to start off our next row, all that we're gonna do is we're gonna chain two, okay? So wrap the yarn around the hook. There you go, there's chain one. And then there is chain two, brilliant. Okay, so there's our two chains. Now we're gonna turn our work around and we are gonna start off on our next row. So to do this, or um, how we're gonna start it off is we're gonna insert our hook into the very first space right beside the chain two. So there's our chain two and here is the space that we're gonna go into. So as you can see, there's lots of Vs here at the top. 
all of our kind of stitches are going to be going underneath these v's so there's the v there's a space underneath it that is where your hook is going to go so you're going to yarn over insert your hook into this space here and pull up a loop so wrap the yarn around the hook and pull up a loop so you've got three loops on your hook now we are going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three and that is the very first half double crochet of your row or the first one that we have done but the chain two does count as one as well so we're going to continue on and we are going to yarn over and we're going to go into the very next space there you can see it here insert your hook and we're going to pull up a loop so wrap your yarn around and pull up a loop three loops on your hook now we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three and there is another half double crochet yarn over into the very next space there pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and so you're just going to keep going all the way down to the end of the row i have left it all in here and i shall see you when we have when we're almost at the very end of the row Okay, so here we are at the very last stitch of the row. So there is our V. We're going to be going in the space just underneath that. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the very final space there, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And that is your final half double crochet of the row. So now what we're going to do to start off our new row, very same as last time, we're going to chain two. So chain one and chain two. Now we are going to turn our work around and we are going to continue on doing the very same thing. Okay, we're going to continue on. So the next, uh, so there's your chain two. That's your first space, the one I'm pointing to. So there's your V just underneath is the very first space you're going to go into. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And that is your half double crochet. So what you're gonna do now is you are going to continue going down the row, putting a half double crochet into every single space um, until you get to the end, then you're gonna chain two and you're gonna continue on with that. So the directions for this bit here and just, and if you keep doing it like this, of course your ends are going, or your sides are going to be straight, which is what we want. So at the end, so we're gonna keep going until you get to 80 rows or until the entire thing is 65 inches long, okay? So that's gonna be the length of your scarf. Now, once you have finished one of the balls of yarn, you're gonna to have to attach the next ball of yarn. And this is how you do that. So this is my new ball of yarn here and that is the end of my old one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the two strands of yarn and you're gonna place them parallel to each other like this. Okay, so then you're going to get that pink strand of yarn and you're going to loop it around in kind of like a backwards four shape. Then with that loose strand at the bottom, you're going to just kind of loop it into that circle like so. It's kind of hard to explain in words, but you can see what I'm doing there. And you're going to pull it tight like that. Then with the green one, we're going to create its own knot here. So you're going to pull it up and you're going to put it through the circle. So you're going to kind of put it over can see it there you're going to put it through that circle there and it's going to going to come out the top like so okay and you're just going to pull that tight then you're going to pull on the green strand and the pink strand and you're going to bring those two knots together in the middle and this is i think called a surgeon's knot or the magic knot perhaps and then that won't come undone okay so that's how you go from one ball of yarn to the next. And then this is me just finishing the final row of my scarf. So I've done 80 rows. This is my final half double crochet. So the whole thing is 65 inches long at this point. And to finish it off, you are going to chain one. So when you're done, you're gonna chain one. 
and then you're going to get your scissors and you are going to cut your yarn make sure you leave about five or six inches and you're just going to pull up so pull your hook upwards and then you're going to tighten it by pulling on that end of yarn there okay and then that is your scarf completed so now before we start wearing it of course we need to kind of um work in the end so there's not just this random piece of yarn hanging out the bottom so what you're going to do is you are going to kind of loop it through the last row so you're going to insert your hook and kind of grab the yarn with your hook and just pull it through like so and you're going to do this on about like four or five of the stitches so insert your hook catch it with the hook and just pull it through like that okay so you're going to do that with about four or five uh, different stitches and then you're going to turn it back around and you're going to go back the other way so insert your hook catch it with the catch your yarn with the hook oh i've taken it out so put it in catch it with the hook and pull it through and you're going to go down back the other way like so just to make sure your yarn is nice and um, kind of weaved in so again it doesn't become loose when you're wearing it so you're going to do that so that's the end of the scarf and you're going to do the very same thing with the start of the scarf so there's going to be a loose end there and you're going to do the very same thing with that at uh, the place where we began the scarf so this is the scarf when it is completed these are all the beautiful colors and then this is it on so thank you so much for watching the video and this is it as a little um kind of like to wear it around your head if it's raining perhaps but um i totally love the scarf and i want to say thank you so much for watching if you have any questions at all please do leave them down below um and i will do my very best to answer them if you have any recommendations for further projects do let me know as well and um yeah thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and to like the video if you enjoyed it as well and i shall see you in the next video bye cool it blows a memento as i fall